Here we are at the arena getting ready for an action-packed uh, three days of our Camel Can Dog Summer Camp. Um, I'm really looking forward to the weekend. We have a lot of great things planned, uh, a lot of course analysis work to help people uh, pick better choices on, on uh, handling. Um, we have some pressure drills where they're going to have to deal with um, you know the idea of possibly making a mistake or some people get more nervous about getting a clean run or winning a championship um, we have a great skill based day based on everything that uh, the students had sent in so I asked them questions about their biggest weaknesses and then I designed uh, skill courses uh, specifically about those weaknesses so we basically have a, a just an amazing amount of stuff to cover in three days. I'm being joined by uh, three awesome coaches that uh, that help me here, uh, Angela McRae, Chris Kroll, and uh, Jamie Moreau. Um, so I think it's gonna be a great week, a great weekend, um, we're really looking forward to it. I don't even really know if Mac likes to swim, but this is a good place to cool down. Well, that was a blast. I need to get out. Uh, I need to get better at using my whistles because it takes its toll. You know, all the yelling, the commands, especially when he gets a couple hundred yards away, really takes its toll on my voice. So I really need to. I'm okay when I sit at home and focus on it, but as soon as I get it, I get out in the field. It's uh, much more challenging to uh, make the or use the correct whistle at the correct time, or even make the whistle work. It's much more challenging than you think. Another thing I need to be conscious of is, you know, Max nine years old. He's, um, you know, not a young dog. Uh, and it's a really humid day. It's not that hot out, it seems, but it's really humid. So as soon as Max shows any signs of being hot, uh, we need to find him shade and you know get him into that uh, water barrel so that he can cool off for a moment. Uh, and then he's ready and raring to go. I, I really think that he would work until he collapsed if I I weren't careful. You know, if I weren't able to um, recognize that he's getting hot and be able to pull him off the field. So uh, I, he had a blast. Now we're headed back. Kale's teaching a seminar this weekend, so we're going to go help out with that. And um, a little bit later on, I have online training, an online training meeting. So, uh, busy day. Kale is teaching an agility seminar this weekend. And uh, let's just pop in and see how it's going. Nice day. I know Kale really, uh, it's a lot of work getting ready for these things, but I know she really loves them. Like she's always so excited at the end of the day and you know, people seem to really enjoy her seminars. So let's check out what's going on in, in the arena. So you can see people are having lots of success, they're having lots of fun, and I need to be as inconspicuous as I can be. I don't want to be too loud or uh, disturb the training that's going on, but uh, we'll have a peek from uh, the balcony and see what things look like from up here. What are you creating here? 
I am making tiny little cupcakes and I am uh, turning them into little Italian flags because uh, tomorrow I am teaching with a student in front of mine named Chris Kroll who normally takes these camps but because she is such an expert in the jumping field she's teaching with me tomorrow but she leaves on Tuesday for um, Italy to compete with her first time um, on Team Canada with her dog Talis uh, for um, at the European Open. So I thought this would be like a cute little send off thing that we could all celebrate together and wish her luck. I'm gonna make our card and we'll have a little shindig at the mm -hmm. end of the day and send her off with uh, some nice well wishes for her and her dog. So I think I have to use these. Thanks. There we go. Well, I'm not a baker. Let's put it that way. I think it look great. It's the thought that counts, hopefully. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking, oh, that's upside down, that's an upside down flag. It's because I'm, I'm holding the camera. Yeah, I did Google it just to just to make <laughs> sure. I have been to the country a few times. So yeah. you, you would think I would know, but uh, it's not something you want to screw up. To finish the seminar, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on but the basis behind what we do this afternoon is going to be a bit more about um, independent decision making, as I had said. So uh, what we've done is we've carefully thought out the sequences, so they're not like super, super crazy now. They're more just to for you to look at the lines and make some handling decisions. But with anything, part of agility is like the mental side of things and being able to function uh, when you're feeling nervous or feeling anxious or you have a really important cue on the line that you need or there's a whole bunch of people watching you or whatever your problem is that gets you rattled, you know, that can be very difficult. And also, you guys are tired now, especially those of you who've been here for two days because it's like the last half and it's the most difficult. So. We wanted to make it a little bit more fun to get you guys like going, but we also wanted to deal with the pressure. So we're gonna do down at my end, a bit of clear round training. And there's some rewards up for uh, grabs. Actually, I'm mixing it up. The afternoon when we do our, our um, relay race, if you do your piece of your relay clean, you'll get a reward. So in this bag, I have some dog toys, some treats, okay? And the winner, winning team will win our famous little coats. <laughs> I know they're not that big of a deal, but they're really adorable. And they say you're terrific on them. Okay, however, with every reward, there is a consequence. So the first thing we'll be doing is how well. So when you are running, are you more nervous because you really want it to go well because you want to win the reward? Or do you run because you're really nervous about the consequence of screwing up? Those are, sometimes you can be bothered by both, but sometimes people think so much about the consequence that that can be really stressful. And there's other people who are like, oh my God, I really just want, I want to win this so badly. Like, or I want to get this cue so badly because I want this reward, sometimes it can be different. So in my end, I can't even say this without smiling. This is so funny. <sighs> so at my end, we're going to do clear round training, and if you make an error, you will have a consequence. Now, we couldn't really decide on the consequence, so we came up with three options, and you may choose the option of your choice. Oh, no. Okay? <laughs> option number one. The Bean Boozled Game. In this game, there are delicious beans and there are very undelicious beans. <laughs> so if you go wrong, you have to choose a bean and it's up to fate to decide whether it's disgusting or whether it's delicious. Okay, that's your first consequence. Are you allowed to spit? No. <laughs> your no. second consequence, and this was Jamie's idea and it's hilarious. However many mistakes you make on the course, you have to turn this game that many times. So the way that this works is you put your head through a hole, you put whipped cream on a spoon, and you click it. And it randomly throws whipped cream in your face. So if you make like two mistakes, you better hope it's not gonna click on two, okay? So for this and for this, 
there is still a chance of avoiding, but you're still gonna feel nervous. <laughs> and last, but my favorite. <laughs> I, yes, I'm going to hold this, and when you screw up right then and there, I'm gonna blast you with water. <laughs> Which means you're gonna run very, very afraid. <laughs> and it's gonna be so fun! I wanna do this. It looks like a blast. Okay, so that's your, you have to pick one. So I don't know why I'm so excited about this. The opportunity to shoot somebody with a water gun while they're running is like really appealing to me right now. <laughs>
This could go really bad. <laughs> this is what you do to your students, so you need, you need to do it. One, two, three, go. They don't smell like it. <laughs> You're a dink. <laughs> you wouldn't, it's popcorn. Is it popcorn? It's popcorn. <laughs> and I, oh, it wasn't very good though. I love popcorn. My favorite. Mmm. It's popcorn. Stale popcorn? Mm, no, it's like way too much butter. <laughs> oh. Okay, pick. You know this one's gonna be the bad one now. I would just like, I wish you could see behind the camera right now at the awful grin that Ken has on his face right now. How come you're not doing this? What are the options? Is it salty? <laughs> it's a booger. <laughs> is it a booger? <laughs> is it a booger? <laughs> well, I was all it. Yes! You just told all of your students that if they got a battle. <laughs> I have to swallow it. <laughs> oh, it's so salty. <laughs> oh, it's so salty. <laughs> Why are you thinking this is so <laughs> funny? <laughs> Pie time now. Like three beans for this. <laughs> that is not fair. Oh, okay, suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> that is like. You should have thought of this when you were taunting me <laughs> on my thing. So uh, the other Ooh. consequence was the pie in the face game, where uh, you get however to however many errors the student made, uh, they were going to have to click the pie in the, the face yeah, exactly. Turner thing, mm -hmm. um, and until do, 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 until do, do, they were finally do, 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 got a pie do, in the face. Do. So go ahead and spin, Jamie. Two, two. You gotta flick it. Come on. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Is that five? <laughs> It's a four. It doesn't matter, either one's good. <laughs> Can you get in close? Okay. Ready? Oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> Do I go towards me or away? I don't remember. Try it one way and see I'm what scared. happens. No. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep, ready. One. Oh. <laughs> Two. Okay, <laughs> ready? Yeah. She says, okay, ready every time. I'm ready. Every time I'm ready. Oh. oh. Yes! He's been against me against No! Again. I did it! I did it four times. You only ate three You beans. made me eat a bean until it was disgusting. <laughs> you only ate three, though. I did okay, it then four. you have to spin three times. I just did it four. Is it not the same? I think she should have to spin three times. See? Ken. Two against one, you lose. Three. I think that's a two. It's gonna go this time now. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll wipe you off with this <laughs> paper here. Did we say it's two or three? Three. <laughs> <laughs> My heart rate's going. Okay, last one. Oh, yes! <laughs> okay. okay, last spin. Three spins. Three times. This isn't fair. <laughs> That's what I said when it was my turn. No, it's really not fair. <laughs> oh, no, it's five. <laughs> she got five. Stop enjoying it so much. Sorry. Look at that little piece there. It's going to go right up your nostrils. Okay, ready? ready? Okay, you gotta go for five. I don't know if anybody's made One, it this far before. Two. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> did you did you kind of relax a little bit? Like yes. I know it sucks. <laughs> relax. <laughs> well, you're so pretty. <laughs> Is it in my hair? No. It's in my eyelash, though. I think. Uh, <laughs> you should take a picture so you can see. I can take a picture of you. Okay. Ken thinks that he's such a wise guy that we are going to play a game with him. What we're going to do is take the pie dial 
and we are going to, this is going to represent how many beans he has to eat. This dial represents what bean he has to eat. And we're hoping that it lands on the brown one. And the okay. five. My love. Oh, come on. That was, oh, we like it. Yeah. We like <laughs> it. <laughs> so it's five. Did you do that on purpose? No. Really? Just yep. ended on five? Yeah, it oh ended my, on five. Oh, my God. Put it on the ground. No, they need to see it. Oh, it's tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. Okay. So that's the, the spotted one. The yeah, spotted pink one. spotted one. He's colorblind. He won't be able to tell. I can see the pink is. Oh, oh, you're doing it this way. What? No, just one. Oh, I thought it was five yeah. times. Five, oh, yeah. you think you'd eat five of the same? No, yeah. no, 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 not the same one. Oh. Then you're going to eat that one and then spin again and pick a oh, new okay. one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see what he meant. Uh -huh. That is not too <laughs> Really? There is, that is definitely, what's the alternative because that is Stinky not Stinky socks. Stinky socks. Stinky <laughs> socks, for sure. Oh, see, I wasn't certain when I had my oh, tutti I'm sure. I'm sure. <sighs> Oh my god! Oh yeah. my god, it smells just like stinky socks. It tastes like I smell. imagine. Let me smell. Oh! oh no. <laughs> and make no mistake about it, that's how it tastes. It's bad. Oh, that's awful. Wow. Do, you want water? Do you want some water? No. Oh. It's dog food. <laughs> it's the brown one. Yeah, I think it is. So it could be your favorite, chocolate? Mm -hmm. Or my least favorite, oh which I've mentioned before is dog Can food. Can you imagine you got all five terrible ones? That could happen. I think that could be great. Is this brown? This one has dog hair on it. Is this brown? Yes. That is not <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> I can smell it from here. Yeah. How could you get the worst one <laughs> this many times? No, no, I think that's chocolate. Oh, no, it's not. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. It's really bad. Oh, my lord. It tastes <laughs> awful. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how you're eating that. The smell of it was horrifying. Oh. Oh, man. It gets worse. <laughs> no, I'm not kissing you tonight. <laughs> Tutti Fruity again. Yeah, boring. Mm -hmm. Spin again. Unless you get Tutti Fruity. No, I think then you can go for the green one because it's so close. <laughs> no, it's a... What color it's is it? pear. You think it's Tutti Fruity again. It's a pear. It's I, I say we play by the rules. Okay. Is this Tutti Fruity? You are a rule. Or... No, that's that's Baby Wipes. The pink one. I just... What are the odds that I get a good one? It'll be a Tutti Fruity. I have good, I have good feeling. I can't tell anymore. My mouth is, my taste buds have been destroyed. By Maybe you need to have a drink of water to yeah. flush it down. I thought I okay. So that one didn't count then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good or bad? Mm -mm. Not good. They, it just tastes awful. Okay, two more. Okay. You gotta flick it. You're not you gonna get it going good. There you go. Okay. Blue. Oh, blue. That's blue. not that bad. No. Toothpaste or... Toothpaste or berry blue. Toothpaste. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that one's... I, you know, I needed that after three really bad Yeah, ones. you need to be minty fresh now. Mm. Okay, one more. Blue again. Oh, come oh, on. Come on. Spin it's been again. Boring. Retake. Yeah, retake. Oh, I think it's more on that blue one. Tutti fruity. Go oh, retake. You can't do the Put same Put it on one. the ground. It's better. Blue. Come on, oh, come on. Blue. What is no. with you? Keep in mind, this has been blue like three times in a row. Yeah, one more. Oh, come on, Ken. See, if this were roulette, I would be a yeah. millionaire by now. Yeah. That's too fruity. Well, that wasn't even a spin. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's a good one. Green? Yeah. Yep. I think it's no, grass. Not looking. the green sp spotted one, though, right? No, it's the green one. So the, grass so the plain green one. So like this one. Wait. Yeah, yeah, that one. There, right. Yep. Oh, it's lime. Mm. That's delicious. At least you got to end on a mm. good one. That was really good. I think you should try this one just for kicks. I'll just do this. <gasps> no, don't do it. Why would you do something so silly? Wow. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. I think I got mostly good ones. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> my face is getting really hot, though. I may have an allergy to vomit or dog food oh my gosh you're gonna have a sugar overload wow that the not smell no. the smell that's coming from me right now it's mm -hmm. not a pleasant one mm. oh not the worst smell, smell oh i know i can tell it's not good 
<laughs> Not as bad as you think. I highly recommend you do this with your friends. Not paid for by or a sponsorship yeah. of being. If you Google, live in Canada, you can get it at uh, Terra Greenhouses, I think. Also not sponsored by. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, that's it. It's the end of the weekend. Three crazy days of agility with lots of eager, fun-loving students. Now I am had a nice dinner from Mummy and Daddy, <laughs> and I'm bundled up in this nice little blanket <laughs> so that I can relax for the, uh, for the rest of the night. But uh, it's a pretty awesome weekend, I must say. Yeah, I saw a lot of people have some huge successes, and mm -hmm. I saw lots of high fives and high tens. Yeah, a lot of smiles. Yeah, a lot of smiles in there. Um, so I want to thank you guys for uh, joining us. If this is your first time on the vlog, make sure you check out another video. And if, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every single week uh, to teach you more about dog training. And on that note, I'm Ken. I'm Kel. Happy training.